vlog episode two. Oh, oh. Kaylin, <laughs> what are we doing? Um, we're picking out wood for some more panels. Yeah. All right. We're going to do a little tutorial for you on how we make our panels. Today we're doing a two foot panel. We have two standard sizes, two and three foot. Um, just because of the dimensions of my garage, it works out to where I can get the majority of format I need for the layout off of those two sizes. I do make it, you know, some other custom ones, one footers and some doors and such, but don't worry about that. So this is our two foot panel. We use one by twos primarily because they're indoor and or only set up temporarily outside in the driveway. So they need to be light. We skin them with usually gator foam or Sentra or sometimes even cardboard that's just painted over with wallpaper or laid over with wallpaper, I should say. And coming from the convention industry, they connect together with carriage bolts and wing nuts through these holes right here, which are drilled all with the same jig, so they're all the same height, and that's how they connect together. Uh, you'll see that in some pictures that we'll end up showing. Um, we also do corner supports. Those are just brad nailed in. Um, haven't had any issues the last few years. Been doing this technique for at least a good three years now and find that they're much less expensive than your standard two by three or two by four in plywood construction. And because these aren't gonna be outside for a long length of time, I'm not really worried about that. Keep these things portable, because if you look up top in my garage, that's where all the panels from the previous years are stored, up there and also up there. So using the one by two just makes it easier. Gonna do some time warp right now to show you the actual process of putting one together with Kaylin uh, with a little voiceover attached, hopefully, if I can figure that out. And uh, you'll see how we do our panels. Good news, I figured out the narration piece. So we use the one by twos, pre-drill all of our holes for mounting the panels together, as well as countersink all of our holes to actually connect the pieces together. That's what Kaylin's working on right now. I'm about to start cutting these corner braces off of basically just cutoffs from the one by twos because once again our panels are only seven foot tall to be able to fit in the garage properly so i've always got at least a foot cut off uh, we do a top a middle and a bottom for the frame not only to have good mounting points but also the center portion is what contains our carriage bolts and wing nuts for mounting the panels together process itself per panel takes approximately 10 minutes. Can't really tell from this time warp. Thanks, GoPro. Uh, but it's really not that difficult. Keep everything square, using my electric nail gun to get these corner braces in. And Kalen's about to drill the hardware holes for the carriage bolts. Next up, we've got some footage about wood selection. in the land of wood. All right, so here we are next to the one by twos. This is what we use for our panels because they're mostly all interior. Keep it light, keep it easy. Oh my um, God, my nails are making this so difficult. Okay, Kaylin, what's the most important part to do when you're picking out wood? Don't just automatically pick out one of the sections that are tied together. You have to make sure to look through the wood because some of the wood is kind of... Good so, point. Always check. Check the wood. So when you're picking out your lumber at Home Depot or Lowe's, always skip past everybody else's discards. Grab you a pack, cut it open, and start looking at each individual piece. We're looking for bad knots, warps, cracks, any kind of damage that could cause integrity issues. Usually we'll, you'll see us pounding them on the ground to make sure they don't split. All right, so we just went through two bundles worth, so 40 boards. About two and a half, because we had to put half of the good pack away. To, get, to 20. get 20 decent ones. So just keep that in mind. Next time you're shopping for lumber, you need to go through and make sure you don't have a bunch of splits, cracks, and nastiness. This is about the first pack we went through. There like, was like stuff like this. Almost three quarter half bad ones. Yeah. See, that's the thing about places like lumber places, they don't always give you the good wood. They use like the scrap wood and just make them with this. Put them in bubbles. Mm. But sometimes they're not always good for that. 
All right, guys, so to wrap up, we use one by twos for our panels. One thing I forgot to mention in some of the previous sections, we use a two by two, just stock two by two by eight, cut down to seven feet. This is what we use for all of our corner posts. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, it's always important, especially if you're making as many panels as you need for a haunt, to have your jigs. I've got two jigs right here that we use all the time. One is for drilling the tops, bottoms, and middles to make sure we have our hole set at the right spot. Second is the location jig for where the panels connect, which I'll also show you here in a second. And that's simply just a matter of lining it up against the edge. And then that way when I drill, every single one has the same length, top and bottom on the sides of the panels. Countersink is your friend, especially when dealing with wood in the desert, but also these one by twos are pretty thin. You wanna make sure you don't split anything. And let me show you some of these connections that we have on the panels. You can see they're just literally wing nut and carriage bolted together like we talked about. So here's a three way. And that's why we've got these different holes so you can mount more than one panel in more than one direction. It's the same on the top as it is on the bottom. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments below on this video. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.